If you or someone you know has sleep apnea or has been told they snore at night, this video is for you. Currently here in America, one in 12 suffer from some sort of obstructive sleep apnea. And it's estimated that up to 75 to 80% of all cases aren't even diagnosed. And that translates to somewhere between 50 and 70 million US adults having some sort of sleep disorder. Now, some of the most common risk factors include things like a narrow airway, high blood pressure, nasal congestion, and smoking. And having sleep apnea puts you at a greater risk for some of the biggest killers we have here in the States. And this happens for a few reasons. It could be due to poor tone of the tongue so it falls back into the throat. It could be due to weak airway muscles causing the breathing tube to collapse. And it can be due to a clogged nasal passage, which can lead to mouth breathing. Now, if you tend to mouth breathe, pause and read some of the potential things that are associated with it here. Not exactly what we're looking for. Nasal breathing can help improve the tongue posture and also improve tone of the muscles that dilate the airway. So learning how to nasally breathe is gonna go a long way with improving your health, performance, and how you feel on a day-to-day -day basis. If you're interested, you could check out my Breathe Easy course, which will be on sale for 50% off from now until Halloween. I'll see you there.